The exciting thing about the field of AI is that it covers the whole spectrum of fundamental science all the way to real applications that have impact on people's lives. What's exciting about Salesforce Research is that we cover that spectrum where we publish strong academic papers at the best conferences, but we also bring those applications and those ideas into our products. Salesforce believes that technology is neither inherently good or bad, it's what you do with it. There are many different things that Salesforce does to ensure that we are creating AI responsibly. That includes thinking about what are the processes that we have for empowering all of the employees to ask questions, to have a diverse set of viewpoints in our creation process. We have the freedom to pursue any research directions and projects that we find interesting and most impactful. We have researchers coming from different backgrounds, so we have have different perspectives and knowledge, which in turn allows us to collaborate in a more efficient way. When I joined in, I think a lot of other people who joined with me, all of them are from top universities, and so just talking to them and collaborating with them is really amazing. What's great about Salesforce research is that it has both the research aspect and engineering aspect. If you want to work in pure research, then you can do that. If you're also interested in developing product, you can also do that. I think the exciting part is that for researchers like me, you can get to work on problems that are interesting from a very technical perspective. We have the opportunity to really think about new applications in language and vision and other types of interactive systems. The field of artificial intelligence can be sliced and diced in a variety of different ways. You have supervised learning, unsupervised learning. You can work in natural language processing where you try to understand language, answer questions, give summaries, give translations. You can work in computer vision where you want to identify objects. You can also work in medical computer vision where you classify different types of cancer in a variety of different modalities. Speech recognition where we try to think about different accents and different noise environments. Recommendation engines. In the end, we're combining these often because we want to recommend products and those products have text descriptions and they have images. So you can actually combine computer vision and natural language processing and recommendation engines into more holistic AI models that can get better and better over time. We've seen AI in a lot of everyday products that have helped consumers in immense ways. In Flint, Michigan, AI is being used to identify and predict which neighborhoods have lead pipes. I think in the next couple of years, we'll see pretty much every industry change because of AI, and that's a very exciting vision to be part of.